You have known and loved his voice for over 40 years, and moments ago, the news broke, the good news broke, that we will get many more years of hearing him on the number one radio sportscast. Please welcome Sportsnet 590, the fans, Bob McGowan is back. Bob? He's up early, and you're here with amazing yeah. news. Congratulations to me. <laughs> was so much Big speculation deal. as to whether you would continue. Oh, there was not. There there nobody was. gave a flying fado what I did. Everybody gave a flying fado. The only person who cared was my wife who said, you can't quit. I'm not going to, I'm going to keep spending as much money as I have been spending. <laughs> I said, well, okay, I better yeah. call Scott Moore Wait, and get a new deal. Yeah. Wait a minute, 590, isn't that CKEY? Yeah, it okay. used to be. <laughs> You've been there that long. Not quite. Yeah. Uh, because uh, the fan was launched on 1430, which was CKFH, CKFH, which was Foster Hewitt's station. Yes. And then um, at some point we switched to 590, and then Rogers gobbled us up along with uh, all the other places, all the other media um, uh, stations across the country, and um, that's the history of that. What is the secret to 40 plus years in an industry that is so quick to spit people out? What is the secret to your longevity? I, don't, I have no idea. I'm the wrong person to ask, I guess. I, I just go in, do what I do, and go home. You do it well. We, in this day and age, it, so much of our information is coming to us via our phones, via, yeah. our, via our, our social media accounts, so much so that we're seeing cable cutters, we're seeing uh, t television ratings go down. But the one thing that is almost digital proof is what you do, is, is sports. Talk, yeah. Well, is, is, well sports, live sports certainly yeah. is digital proof because you got to watch it live. Nobody yeah. wants to watch it on tape. And, yeah. um, and then sports talk because in the middle of watching sports, there's always a conversation, yeah. right? There's always an argument. And sports talk was launched, you know, in the late 80s as a, as a function essentially of guys going to bars and what would they do when you're sitting at a bar. So you and I, Kev, you know, maybe you as well, the three of us are sitting at a bar someplace having a smart little cocktail, and what do we talk about? Well, if it's three guys, it's you talk about women, relationships, you talk about business, and you talk about sports. Mm -hmm. And the conversation almost invariably comes back to sports. So and, and it there, still exists today. And there's something about sports that we can actually have intelligent discussions about it. If we get into news, well, we get we, arguments. We and, and, and intelligent. <laughs> but, but still, we have, we, everyone has point, counterpoint, but nobody seems to hate on the other person. We get into news, and it turns into a fight, an argument. But sports continues to be something people Clearly can you've discuss. Clearly, never been, you've never been to a soccer game. I was going to say. <laughs> Clearly. Has, has he heard about the Azuity this year with the FIFA? I mean, no Kat, kidding. Uh, by the way, about? while we're talking about that, uh, your call on MLS tomorrow, the, oh. uh, the final? I, I believe they will play. Okay, hold on. Can we quote you on that? Yes, you may. I believe they will Come on, you have to pick play. one. I, I believe hear from they Bob. will play. Breaking I want to hear from Bob McCallum. I couldn't care less what happens <laughs> with the stupid soccer. Why? It's boring. It's, it's the biggest sport in the world. I, here I am defending now soccer. Usually defending I'm the one saying this. How many? Wait a second. How many? Let me. Let's count now. Careful. It may be How many goals were scored in last year's final be between these same two game. teams? Let's think about it now. Uh, well, mm, none. Gets, you got. You, you got to be a homeboy. You got to be a homer. You want to know why? Well, you I'm can't. not rooting for Seattle. Let's okay. be. You know. There, I got it. Bob McCallan, rooting for TFC, finally got it out of you. Cam, I booked, I booked a trip it. to Vegas so I wouldn't have to watch <laughs> the stupid you game. Did. Never mind. We have to be nice to you because last time you were in, we were talking about your uh, I brought vineyard. you wine. Yes, Look, I brought your you vineyard. Stuff. And there you go. brought you us, what a beautiful box, by the way. The tragically hip. This is so beautiful. And you have inside Look at a this. bottle of wine. Be careful now. It's, oh, it's, it's chilled. Yeah, it was in my garage. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's your wine. Yeah. Look at this. this Tragically hip wine. so nice of you. Well, we there's should... a red and there's a white, but the, I don't have any red. It's sold out. It's sold but out. But yeah. it is being re-released tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. at the okay. LCBO. Okay. So Tragically Hip <laughs> Red and White are both uh, back in, in business. Now, the last time that was released by the LCBO, it sold out in two hours. Oh my gosh. So, so it's the other way around, darling. Did I just, you, yeah, here, I, I give swear it to I me. haven't been drinking. Give it to me. <laughs> yeah. So we will Today. either, we will toast to you. We should have brought you champagne. This is your 40th anniversary. I think uh, Ruby, is Ruby yes. the color for the 40th anniversary? But thank well, you so much. It's not the 40th, really. It's 45. It's 45. Yeah. You, I, who else can say that? I mean, you might I get there soon. I was 11 when I started. <laughs> Seriously, what were you, a toddler? Yeah, I was a baby. We're so happy that we have many Good more years to enjoy up. you, and thank you for getting up early Great to us. see you. I'm usually Good not done throwing you. up at this time. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you listen to him. We will get many more years of the one and only Bob McCowan, and uh, he brings us one. Yeah, I, so today, I want soccer fans to call Bob.
Oh, at Fadubo on Twitter. No, call, you can call me any time today on the, on the fan. Oh. <laughs> I'm off. It's a, I don't care. <laughs> he's in Vegas. We'll be back with more VT right after this. Thank you so much.